Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Noodle here, and uh, today what I'm going to be doing is something a little bit different. You may notice that there's a picture that you're looking at right now, um, and this picture isn't moving, it's not really doing anything. I, I might have it move back and forth a little bit just to add a little character, but for the most part, if you're looking for any kind of hilarity or Minecraft uh, related videos, or even just indie game or video games, or what we traditionally would call my normal set of videos, then you're going to be sorely disappointed. See, I found that when I'm playing games or doing school work or just perusing funny pictures, I often like to listen to things um, while I am doing these things, especially when I'm playing like single player Minecraft um, and I don't really want to have my own music playing, I usually have a narrator reading to me. Not through any of those pussy ass audiobooks, although I will say that I do enjoy a good audiobook from time to time. No, I'm talking about YouTube narrators. Most certainly Mr. Creepypasta. If any of you out there know who he is, you know what I'm talking about. Love you, Mr. Creepypasta. But uh, what I am referring to is the online narrations of short stories and things like that. I'm going to decide to go ahead and take a swing at it. Uh, my work schedule is a bit hectic, and um, we are going to go ahead and record Race for the Under Egg this weekend um, to pick that back up again because I do have Sunday off. But until then, I don't want to leave you guys completely videoless, um, and these are pretty easy for me to do, um, especially since all I have to do is really just get, um, you know, sound effects and things like that. Also, there's a like and comment button on the bottom. Uh, don't worry about these. Um, like I said, I don't normally ask for comments. If you like it and you want to say something, hey, allow me to do so. But I think this is something I'm going to do. Um, you may also notice that this video is not monetized, and none of these audio recordings are going to be monetized either. I don't want to ruin your experience by having ads pop up or interrupting, you know, the playlist. Also, I could probably get away with monetizing this stuff, except that I respect this author way too much to even attempt that. Um, this is actually one of my favorite books, and um, it is going to be a motion picture released very soon. Um, I'm, I, there's already spoilers because I'm, I'm going to write it in the title of this, but I'm going to go ahead and narrate World War Z. Uh, by Max Brooks. Now, I did read this book several years ago, and I loved it. I absolutely did. And I'm not one for reading books at all. Uh, you know me. I'd rather play video games than read a book. But it is amazing. And then when I saw that they were going to make a movie out of it, I was ecstatic. And then I got fearful. Because World War Z is a book about short stories. Short personal stories inside of a larger book. And each chapter is from a different person's point of view. I figured that they were going to do like a Band of Brothers series or like Sopranos where they would be a, um, a, like a, a series like on HBO where it's an hour long segment for those hours they tell the story and then you, you, you know, after so many of those you wrap up the entire story together in like one book. Unfortunately they're going to make a two hour movie with the perspective of one person uh, going through one event in the book and it's it's really shitty and and it sucks that most people are gonna watch this movie and either say oh it was pretty good or man that fucking blew and they're not really gonna know how awesome World War Z actually is because these people like myself are lazy and don't want to read a book uh, they don't feel like paying for an audiobook why why would I pay for an audiobook I watched the movie it fucking sucked why would I pay another 20 or 30 dollars for an audiobook so that's why this is also here um, so, so those people who are lazy can actually listen to the audiobook, basically me rereading it, without uh, having to pay for it per se, and of course, um, you know, there's no excuse at that point not to enjoy this book. So, it's already going on like four minutes or so, and what I'm going to do is, this is just the introduction of uh, what I'm going to be doing, okay? The next video that's going to be released will actually be the prologue. Um, and it will also be very short, but it's going to be my test because what I want to do is add um, sound effects and like background music. And of course, Dano songs is going to be my my big source of background music stuff, and especially uh, freesounds.org. I want to use those as well. And the introduction is going to be very very short, probably way shorter than this video. But then I do want to go ahead and get into chapter one uh, very very soon. Now the only thing that I have uh, to really worry about while reading this book is that it, it uses accents from people across the world and um, I'm not going to try to fake each accent because there's some that I just don't know like how do you fake a Turkish accent uh, I'm sure if you live next to Turkey 
um, you could fake it. Um, but I most certainly don't, and I don't want to attempt it. Uh, not that I, I, I want to offend anybody, but uh, all of my accents always end up Chinese or, like, Russian. And that's not so much the case. Also, while we're going through this book, I may have some of the misfits actually read a chapter um, just to change up the voice, or they might have cameos. Like, I might get strike to read a few passages in the first chapter, but I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along, shall we? But that's it. Uh, like I said, that's what that's my plan. That's what I want to do. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. This is more of a, a long-term goal. Don't expect all these to come out like within a week, although that would be cool. Uh, the first two, the uh, prelog, is it the prelog or the prologue? It's just called the introduction. The introduction and uh, chapter one will probably be uh, be coming out very soon. And I, they're my test. I want to see how work extensive it is to add music and sound effects and things like that. So yeah, thank you for listening, and uh, stay tuned for introductions of World War Z and Oral History of the Zombie War by Max Brooks.